Hello there, this is John V, Software Evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching another Jscape MFD server tutorial. Not all AS2 servers authenticate trading partner clients through usernames and passwords. Many servers use digital certificates instead. If you want to know how to set up this kind of authentication on your AS2 server, you've come to the right place. First, let's cover a few prerequisites. This tutorial involves two AS2 servers. The first AS2 server acts as the sender, and the second AS2 server acts as the recipient. Let's call the first server MFT Server 1, and the second server MFT Server 2. MFT Server 1 can also be considered the client, and MFT Server 2 the server in a client-server architecture. In order for the server to authenticate the client, the server must possess the public key that corresponds to the client's private key. If you want to try this out in a test environment, you'll need to set up those two AS2 servers. Setting up an AS2 service on Jscape MFT server is easy. Just follow the instructions in the video tutorial, The Quick Start Guide to Setting Up an AS2 Server. Just click the link in the description. You need to apply those instructions to those two servers. Ready with your AS2 servers? Let's proceed then. First, let's create the private key and its corresponding digital certificate. The first steps are going to be carried out on MFT Server 1, also known as the client. That's where we'll generate a private key and a corresponding digital certificate. The digital certificate will contain the private key's corresponding public key. Once this certificate, along with the public key, is imported into MFT Server 2 and the private key loaded onto the MFT Server 1 size AS2 client module, the two parties will then be ready to perform certificate-based authentication. We already made a video tutorial for creating a private key and its corresponding certificate. Just follow the steps in the video, how to create a client certificate up to the part where you export the private key. Save the private key file and store it in a secret location. Now that you've created the private key, you'll now need to export that private key's public key. The public key will have to be stored in a digital certificate. To export the digital certificate, go back to the Client Keys tab, select the newly generated Client Key, click Export, and then click Certificate. As soon as the Export Certificate dialog appears, specify a file name or keep the one generated for you, and then select a certificate format. You'll usually want it to be in X.509. A certificate file will then be automatically generated. Save that file. You should then import this file into MFT Server 2. In a real-world scenario, you will have to send this certificate out of band to your trading partner's server administrator. That person will then have to import the file you sent into his AS2 server. We will now import that digital certificate into the authenticating server, which in our case would be MFT Server 2. MFT Server 2 will use this certificate to authenticate MFT Server 1 when the latter first attempts a connection. To import the certificate, go to Keys, Client Keys tab, and then click the Import button, and then Import File. Give the public key certificate an alias. An alias is just an arbitrary name that will be used to represent this particular key in this server's environment. After that, click the Browse button and then navigate to the Digital Certificate file. Click OK to proceed with the import process. If the import succeeds, you should see the alias of your newly imported certificate. In case you didn't know, AS2 runs on HTTP or HTTPS. AS2 servers are actually able to perform certificate-based authentication because that capability already comes with HTTPS. Thus, for all this magic to work, you need to make sure HTTPS is already enabled and that the server is set to require HTTPS client certificates. To set up HTTPS, watch the video How to Set Up an HTTPS File Transfer. But to require client certificates, go to Settings, Web, the Web tab, and then tick the HTTPS Client Certificate Required checkbox. Click the Apply button. We're now done on the server side, so it's time to go back to the client side. Now that the public key certificate has already been imported on the authenticating server side, it's time to load our private key onto the client. 
In this case, the client will be a trading partner object on Jscape MFT server. If you follow the instructions in the quick start guide to setting up an AS2 server as instructed earlier, you should now have a trading partner object ready for use. Edit that trading partner and click the client key button. When the client key dialog pops up, select the use key file option and then browse to the location of the private key file. Select the key file and enter its corresponding password. As soon as you click OK, you will have already completed the steps for setting up certificate-based authentication for your AS2 service.